Hey everybody, Dirilli here. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of The Men of Yoshiwara Kikuya. We are still pursuing Kagura, and we are on chapter 13 now. So, just sit back, relax, and let me read you a story. Immediately after I spent my last night with Kagura-san, my family store became really busy. The reasons for this being that Genemon-san would be going back soon. There was a non-stop flow of customers coming coming to visit Genemon-san. But being this busy was actually convenient for me. It distracted me from feeling lonely. I didn't even have time to immerse myself in memories. If I stopped even for a moment, I would end up thinking about him. If I came back to reality even a little, I would end up remembering him. The person that I love, Kagura-san. So I had to wear myself out at night and become so tired that I would sleep like I was dead. One day, Someone pulled my arm when I went to the back of the store. It surprised me so much that I couldn't say anything. Then, it's me. What? Kagero-san? It was a boy who didn't fit in with this place at all. He had pure white hands and very slender body. And this boy had an intelligent-looking face. You are despicable. What? He glared at me fiercely. My body shuddered. You have no intention of coming to see Kagero-san again, do you? Well, I... Why? <sighs> Why? He yelled at me in a subdued voice. I'm sorry. It was a lot of work to find this place, too. I thought you were a rich merchant's daughter, but you're just the daughter of a shipping agent. It's no wonder that you always wear plain clothes and accessories. I fooled them from the beginning. I had no excuse for that. And you just went back to your normal life without a care in the world, without even knowing how Kagura-san feels about you. What? His face twisted with regret, and then he stared at me. It looked like he had been hurt, and he looked very sad. This is from Kagura-san. Kagura-san quickly pulled something out. What is this? And this is too. Without answering me, he continued to pull something else out, and it was... a daffodil? It was a single cute daffodil. Its soft nostalgic smell wafted through the air. There's a letter too, so please read it. Well then, I should go. Uh, Kagura-san! Then Kagura-san instantly disappeared into the street. I once again looked down at the things that he gave to me. The first thing I received was a piece of paper. Something was wrapped in the paper. I slowly opened it, and inside was... Money? Also, a beautiful brush script was written on the piece of paper. Is this Kagura-san's writing? How smooth and beautiful his handwriting was. It had a traditional strength that drew me in, and a delicate flow. And the words written on the paper said, I want to see you again. Is this... Is this a normal letter that a gentleman of the night wrote to their regular clients? Or... Before I knew it, teardrops were dripping from my eyes. Large teardrops passed over my cheeks and fell down to the ground. Kagura-san! Kagura-san! I've also wanted to see you so much. I've endured so much. Giving me money meant that I should come see him. That's what he was saying, but how much trust can I put in Kagura-san? How much should I believe without questioning? I really want to believe these feelings of his. I just can't have any further doubts. I want to see Kagura-san. No, it's not good for me to see him. This opposing feeling fought against my desire to see him. But I couldn't fight it. I couldn't just stand around, so I headed to the red light district. I knew it was Kagura-san who quickly opened the door. But, unable to lift my head up, I kept my head down. Kagura-san gallantly approached me. My body became stiff. Even though I was facing the person who I wanted to see so badly, I was unable to even lift my head. And as soon as Kagura-san came right in front of me, I can't live without you. Kagura-san held me firmly. At that moment, I didn't know what had happened, so I couldn't do anything. But as soon as I understood that I was actually being hugged, I couldn't help but hug back the person that I loved. Kagura-san. Tears dripped down, and before I knew it, Kagura-san's clothes were wet with tears. But not seeming to care about it at all, 
Kagura-san held me ever so tightly. Why? Why didn't you come? Even a letter would have sufficed. If you did that, if you did that, I... I didn't know how to respond to that question. I don't care where you were born or whose daughter you are. Those kind of things don't matter. I didn't feel alive when I couldn't see you. Are you trying to kill me? Kagura-san's words sounded like a grief-stricken scream as they penetrated my ears. It felt like they were also piercing through my heart. His words were so intense and painful. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If this was a trick, then I... I wouldn't be able to believe anything anymore. That's how deeply I felt Kagura-san's feelings. We kept holding each other, and we hugged each other to our heart's content. Then we finally calmed down, and loosened the strength in our arms. Kagura-san stared at me, and then he narrowed his eyes. I'm nothing more than a bird in a cage, unable to go and see you freely. I only suffer. Were there not days when you wanted me? No, you were the only thing on my mind, Kagura-san. Then why didn't you come here? Was he asking me? Or was he just being sad? Um... I want to tell the truth. That's pretty much always the best thing to do. I... to be honest... Trying to tell him the truth, I stared back into his eyes. This is the first time I've seen his eyes like this. Kagura-san's eyes were shaking with worry. I made up my mind and opened my mouth to speak. I think you already know this, but... I'm just the daughter of a shipping agent, not the daughter of a rich merchant. My family isn't wealthy by any means, and I don't really have any income. So, I never was the type of person that could come here. So what? I already told you that those kind of things don't matter. No, but it does matter. I don't have any more money. I used all the money for the banquet on the final day that I saw you, and on the academic book. Kagura-san made a wry face and went silent. But I knew from the beginning that this would happen. Originally, the money that I had was money that I received from a couple that I helped run away. Huh? So, that makes me a criminal, and I don't have any more money to see Kagura-san. I'm sorry. However, I'm not at all confused about my feelings for you. Even now, from the bottom of my heart, I love you, Kagura-san. I can't believe this. I'm really sorry. I bowed deeply to Kagura-san. I've already cried so much. But once again my tears flowed from my eyes and wet the floor. Then, like today, I will give you money. Huh? What are you talking about? If you do something like that, won't it take you a longer time to retire, Kagura-san? That will have wasted all the money and effort that I put into getting the academic book. I gave it to you so that you could find a job after you became free. Misao. I wasn't sure about it, but I felt that Kagura-san's eyes were moist with tears. I've heard that a cruel fate awaits the gentlemen who fall in love with a client who doesn't have money. Rather than decreasing the gentleman's debt will continue to inflate. His retirement will never come, and once he is no longer able to work as a gentleman, if he's lucky, he could work as a servant in Yoshiwara. But if luck is not on his side, he would become a streetwalker or unlicensed prostitute. In the worst case, it wasn't rare for a gentleman weary of the world to drown himself in a river. For someone like Kagura, I couldn't expect that it would go like that. But it was clear that he wouldn't be happy. So, are you saying that this will really be the end? Yes. And you won't change your mind no matter what? When I'm able to make money on my own and come to the Red Light District, if you still want to see me, Kagura-san... I see. There was a long stretch of silence. What could Kagura-san be thinking right now? I came here to have what I believed to be my last night with him. I... Um... Ooh, which one? I want to do all of them! <laughs> I guess I'll just say I love you, Kagura-san, and hopefully things will naturally happen from there. I... I love you, Kagura-san. I clearly told him that, and then peered into Kagura-san's eyes. Kagura-san's expression distorted a little. Whether we laugh or cry, today will be our last day. So, Kagura-san... Was it too disgraceful of me to ask him that? But... 
I want to be close to Kagura-san so badly that I just don't know what to do with myself. Misao. Kagura-san hugged me tightly. Thinking that this was his answer, I then quietly closed my eyes. I know this smell well. It was the incense in Kagura-san's room. It stuck to Kagura-san's clothes and always captivated me. It smelled so sweet. Kagura-san. Kagura-san's lips gently laid upon mine. This kiss. This soft, hot, and passionate kiss. I definitely won't forget this. Over and over, our lips laid upon each other's. Our tongues intertwined, forming threads of saliva. Misao, I love you. Kagura-san. Just the other day, I imagined that this would be the best day of my life. With this happiness in my heart, I could keep going. That's all that was on my mind, but... Tonight, once again, I exceeded this happiness as Kagura-san and I hugged each other. Ah. Kagura-san caressed my waist from above my blouse. And then he caressed my breasts. And then his hand went right past this part and tickled my collarbone. Hmm. I've been waiting to touch you like this for a long time. If someone had already slept with you before me, it would have been easier for me to do this. Why did you appear before me, while still pure and beautiful? His longing and husky voice shook my eardrums, and occasionally his breath would fall upon my ear and make my body hot. No, I'm glad that it's with you, Kagura-san. I answered straight from my heart. Then Kagura-san sucked my lips again. He slipped his body in between my blouse. His hand instantly reached my breasts and covered them. When he softly touched them and pinched their tips, all the buttons on my blouse had been unfastened. Kagura-san! I turned my face away with embarrassment, but Kagura-san wouldn't allow me to do this. He grabbed my chin with his other hand. I'm the one touching you now. You can't close your eyes. His voice was luscious and gentle, yet also clear, so I couldn't look away from him, and I sighed longingly. Kagura-san's hand groped my breasts. The way he used his hand was gentle, yet intense, and again I didn't even notice it when it happened, but... My clothes had been ravaged, and Kagura-san's hand was persistently stroking my skin. His palm and the back of his hand and his fingers, he used all of them so carefully, groped my body. His hand passed from my leg up to my thigh, and then to the swelling above my legs, over and over. Kagura-san, no! Even though I moaned and grabbed his hand, Kagura-san stared at me. He moved his hand all over my body, like he was trying to remember me by the touch of his hand. It hurt so much, I clung to Kagura-san. Then he caught me in his embrace. But his hand was persistent, and he wouldn't stop his actions. Soon after, he split my legs open and Kagura-san slowly penetrated his member into me. When this happened, I felt a sweet numbness and pain. This body that Kagura-san touched, perhaps after this, I will have to spend my time hugging myself. Then, a few days later, one night before Kenemon-san was going to leave, Kenemon-san came into my room out of breath. Miss Alchan, are you here? W what happened, Kenemon-san? Oh, good. I have something to tell you right away. Please calm down. Aren't you out of breath? As he breathed with great difficulty, I massaged Genemon-san's back. I then heard the reason why he came here in such a hurry, and... Is this story true? It is true. It's a big deal. I'm going now. I wanted to tell Kagura-san about it right away, so I leapt out of the room and started running to the red-light district as fast as I could. I have 76% likability with him, which is higher than much, much higher than the likability I obtained with the other guys. Last Chapter, The Wedding With much joy, I ran over to Kikuya to talk about what happened. A while after that, sometime during the night, Genemon came to Yoshiwara. I'm delighted to make your acquaintance. My name is Kagura. Oh, so you're Kagura-san. Well, you're quite the looker. Thank you very much. To be honest, I came here to see you, but... Genemon had been searching for a young man at the request of a high-level government official, someone who is knowledgeable of Western studies and is skilled with a sword. 
someone who is educated and refined across multiple disciplines, and someone with a strong will and strong appetite for learning. He was looking for a young man with such a promising future. Western study, swordsmanship, education, and refinement. It didn't seem like there was a young man who had all of these qualities, but it's not like it would be impossible to find this person. By handling imported items and making an appearance in a wide variety of industries, Genemon did meet young men who excelled in both academics and athletics, but for some reason they all left much to be desired. Perhaps because Genemon had recalled those times, but he said that with a look of disappointment on his face. Though there are many famous rare imported items, the things called humans are the most difficult. So he continued to be disappointed. Genemon had begun to lose the motivation to find this person. It was at that time when Misao bought up the academic book. Oh, I see. Could he be talking about the academic book that you gave me? Yes. A girl of age gave up a beautiful kimono to instead buy an academic book. For the man that she likes, of course. I didn't know. Kagura-san widened his eyes with surprise and looked at me. I felt somewhat uncomfortable and shrunk into myself. No matter how in love a person is, they would never think to buy something that expensive. If you weren't the man that you are, that is. It was after that I found myself suddenly overflowing with energy again. Following that, I did quite a bit of research, but... Oh my, the more that I researched, the more that my expectations grew. The number of Western study books that she bought in the end. Those truly were advanced Western studies books, used by high-level government officials. I didn't know that they were that great. Well then, let me ask again. I'd like to recommend you as a candidate for a high-level government official. What did you think? Kagura-san, even I didn't know that he would ask something like this. So, I was surprised at the same time as Kagura-san. I had no idea that it would be such a big thing. Of course, I would pay Kikuya for your freedom. There may be some who would raise objections to someone from Yoshiwara, but whatever, I, Genemon, will deal with them. Kagura-san, you don't mind if I recommend you, do you? When Genemon asked him that, Kagura-san stared straight at Genemon with his brightly shining eyes and he bowed deeply. This is more than I deserve. I will do my absolute best to devote myself to the position. I can't thank you enough for this. Ah, <laughs> what a stiff greeting. Kagura-san slowly lifted his face. He then looked at me with a joyful smile on his face. After that, a matter of days passed in what seemed like only a moment. Before I knew what was happening, Kagura-san's situation had progressed rapidly, and the next thing I knew, Today came to be his last day in Kikuya. His room was cleaned spotless, and his books and other items had already been hauled away. All that was left in his room tonight was a bed. <sighs> the room became bare, didn't it? It's refreshing. That's what I want to say, but I also feel deeply moved. Though I didn't have many good memories here. Just then... Kagura-san, that's too much. Kagero appeared from the open sliding door. Am I a bad memory for you? His face was like that of a pouting child. Knowing how much he yearned for Kagero-san, I guess it's only natural for him to pout like this. Of course not. You're just trying to find fault. Kagero, come here. Why don't we drink sake in celebration? Are you taking pity on me? Not at all. Gosh. Up until the very end, he still stated harsh things like this. Come, Kagero. I want you to pour sake for me. Kagura-san, yes. I felt that the way he responded to me and Kagura was like night and day. Lately I started thinking that. This is what made Kagura-san cute. Kagero poured sake, and this sake that was poured to the brim appeared to satisfy Kagero-san. Then Kagura-san poured sake for me, with a reluctant expression on his face. The three of us raised our drinks in celebration. Kagero, don't make such a gloomy face. But... No matter what Kagura did, Kagero-san would be sad, but... Didn't you want to be like me? Of course I do. Well then, stand firm on those feet of yours. 
learn, work, and live out your life. You're chasing after me, so I'm waiting for you. I'm waiting for you out on ahead. Kagura-san Kagura-san had a gentle smile on his face, and Kagura's eyes appeared to be moist with tears. But before I knew it, I too was almost about to cry. Understood. I will chase after you, so please wait for me. Okay? That's a promise. But... Never mind. I don't think I'm going to wait anymore. Huh? What? I have high expectations, and I will always aim for the top. Kagero may not chase me forever. That's not true. <laughs> if that frustrates you, then chase me, like your life depends on it and surpass me. It was the first time that I seen Kagero-san say something with such a light-hearted tone. He drank sake in good spirit and smiled happily, and those are the words of someone that should be on top. There is no top. There is no final destination. They were very Kagero-san sounding things to say. Soon after, the evening grew late, and Kagero-san reluctantly returned to his room. Will you go back? Kagero-san drank the last of the sake and asked me that question. Maybe it was because of the sake, or perhaps because of the time, but his eyes looked very hot and moist. As I struggled to say something in return, it would be better to be in a situation where we wouldn't have to go back. Huh? For that end, it would be good to settle down. It would be good to get married. It would be good to have a wedding. K kagura san The words that I heard just now didn't seem real to me, so I cocked my head to the side in confusion. You probably think it's drunken nonsense. No, not at all. Well then, let's exchange promises. Before he finished what he was saying, kagura san quickly covered my lips with his. As he covered my lips, sucked and worked his tongue into my mouth, he started to intertwine his fingers with mine, one by one. Kagura-san's smooth fingers slipped into places between my fingers, and our fingers intertwined. That alone was enough to send a shudder down my spine. I don't know any other words to express my feelings to you, so will this be enough to believe me? Kagura-san spread his lips and looked down on me with an expression of longing on his face. That's when I first noticed that I had already been pushed to the ground. A single tear rolled down my cheek from the corner of my eye. Then Kagura-san quietly smiled. You really do cry a lot. After saying that, he wiped away my tear with his fingertip. The tip of his finger was warm. I love him. I love him. I love him. I want him. I wanted his everything so bad that it was driving me crazy. And no matter how much he would give to me, I would never be satisfied, because I love him. No matter how much of Kagura-san's everything flows forth, my vessel of love is infinitely wide. I love you, Kagura-san. I want to be husband and wife with you. Misao. They continued to be laid up upon me. Kagura-san's hot kisses and his hot embrace. Could a person be a creature that is able to ask this much of someone else? Perhaps this is what it meant to love. The palms of Kagura's hands that slid across my body. Kagura-san's smooth tongue that checked my flavor. Before I knew it, I was also touching Kagura's toned body. I felt his warmth with my hands and the feel of his supple skin. This is the only person that I would love from now on. Misao. Misao. Ugh. In the throes of passion with the person I love for the first time, I came to know that ecstasy... And that was Kagura's super happy ending. Now the sequel and date scenario are available, which we will read in the next video. So I hope to see you in some future videos, perhaps that next one with his extras. And I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me, and I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. They're really signing out. Bye-bye, everybody.